Hello fellow campers, welcome to my dedicated camping channel, The Sunday Camper. Recently I have rediscovered my love of camping and all things adventure in the outdoors. Follow along with me and my little camping buddy Freddie as we travel around Australia in our car and tent camping setups. On this channel I'll be sharing my habits, hacks, tips and tricks to make your camping adventure clean, neat and organised so you can enjoy it to the max and really relax when you get out there. Be sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. So in my last video I shared with you a car camping setup using a double air mattress in the back of my RAV4. This takes up the entire space so today I'm sharing with you a setup using a single mattress which leaves storage along the side of the car for eskies, clothes, cooking equipment, all that good stuff. Hope you enjoy the video. So in the single bed mode it is good for longer distance travel because I can have this big esky here which I also use for like dry food storage as well. Got a little bag up there I'll show you later with some food in it as well. This is just a single bed air mattress at the moment and I've just stuffed it inside a like a quilt cover. So this is a quilt cover just to try and stop it from making any noise when it if it might rub up against the side of the car or anything. And then I've got a blanket on the top and I've also got a sleeping bag that we can put on the top as well and underneath that just for insulation is just a uh, Kmart blanket. Got a little beach bag there that can fold out. But there's my don't stuff with me. Self-defense number one. Over here we've just got a little dustpan to be able to dust off any mess. And it's just wrapped up in a little old cloth nappy, which I've got a stash of these, which are great for just dusting off Freddy's paws before he gets in. So this is good because you can access it from inside and outside. And then I've just got a little Tupperware container with ice frozen in it that I've just DIY. Also a water bottle with ice frozen in it. Um, and I've just divided it just so everything doesn't fall on top of each other. Just with some plastic came out storage bins. And then it just keeps it nicely divided and organized like I mentioned I've got a few little dry good things in there as well because we've got some space to spare just down beside that I've got my little butane camp stove and just some um, canisters these ones just need to get the last little bits used up out of them so I use it just for boiling water or something for making a tea or a coffee and then if we come around oh, I've just got this little lifetime blow molded table it's height adjustable so that's the lower setting and it's great because you can fold it up and slide it underneath the air mattress which I can fold up and put the seats up if I want to have the back seat free and spare or you can actually put that into the back of the car as like a ledge that goes over the esky over the bed and it allows for some storage at the top and coming around here this is this um, the back seat door behind the driver's seat and this is where I usually come in like in and out so that's why there's like this little floor mat here so you can easily just take it and shake it and dust it out got a small it's not small it's big enough for me to last a couple of days water jug and then this is just got some like a pantry at the moment so some dry goods it's just got some leftover MRE things in there that I had with the kids um, to use up and under there it's just a bag with all of the cooking supplies so it's got a thermos with ice in it some paper towel kitchen knife this just has my washing up goods in it so a dish brush and some dish soap and a little spray bottle chopping board knife and that's just got my base camp stanley base camp which is an all-in-one cook set just a few bits and pieces of just cooking stuff cooking cleaning all that kind of stuff here I've got my curtains for the back of the the back hatch for at night and then I've also got the window coverings here, the mosquito nets. I've got a drink bottle right there which is easy to grab in the night time. Then here I've just got a car organizer and it's got all of the stuff organized that I would need. So some clothes, packs for um, my clothes, I keep one for Freddy's things 
and then I just am drying this out so that's why that's out and then I usually have one of these just for like towels and toiletries and stuff but it's just drying out at the moment just got a little Tupperware container with some tissues in it some wet wipes just a toiletries bag that's just got deodorant soap all that kind of average stuff um, some toilet paper a little coffee or tea mug and just a bag of toiletries that is going back in there when it's dried out this little guy is just my bin it's just a tupperware container with it's actually freddy's little doggy bags which fit perfectly and then i've got an extra roll in there just spare at the bottom so then you can just open it up throw your rubbish in there and then seal it up and then in the pockets of this i've just got a few little bits and pieces so there's freddy's thing a little dustpan i think there's a lip roller um freddy's little pjs and then there's just my dirty clothes basket so that's where i put all my dirty dirty washing and they're just like reusable shopping bags it's exactly the same as this just a different pattern um and inside the this car organizer it's got only like some sides stiff so to make it stiffer i just inserted a ikea variera tub just to make it a little bit more sturdy and down the side there's a nintendo switch just to stay occupied it just keeps it all like nice and contained and organized and so everything's got a place so that i'm never like digging through bins and things trying to find something i always know where everything is front seat always stays completely empty when i'm sleeping or at all times just so i can always jump in the front seat if i need to make a quick getaway for whatever reason safety reasons or emergency freddie's emergency my emergency whatever just quick getaway always at all times passenger seat i've just got a couple of um floor cushions so if i don't have the air mattress pumped up they're actually really comfy to just put in the back seat and then just sit on them um, and hang out a bit and it just gives you a little bit more headroom because they're a little bit thinner than the air mattress. On this side we've just got a portable fire pit and I have two of these little storage containers. One's just getting washed out at the moment. This is kind of like my garage. So it's got literally everything in there. It's got some tent ropes or tarp ropes. It's got some bungee straps, some scissors, some pliers, tools, gorilla grip, masking tape. It's got a padlock, rope, um, it's just got everything that you need. It's even got a camp shower in there, so it holds a lot of stuff in a small amount of space. And then in the other one, usually I put like fire starters and just other bits and pieces. And in the glove box, I've just got some cleaning supplies and a first aid kit. First aid kit, cleaning supplies, another toilet roll. And I just keep the air pump in here, just so it's handy to recharge it, because it's cordless. You can just recharge it right there at the cigarette lighter. So I just figured it's a good place to just keep it. And I always know where it is <laughs> at all times. Freddy's water bottle, spare water bottle. I've just got some marshmallow sticks that the, the kids were using. So that's sleeping mode. And technically you can use this as drive mode too, but I'll show you how you can pack it up as well with the uh, chair, camp chair, table, all stacked in there. In my next video, I'm going to be sharing a more detailed car packing system because I have refined it to get a lot of stuff in the little space of the back area of a RAV4, including a tent, four camp chairs, big esky, enough sleeping bags and sleeping pillows and mattresses for myself and my two kids when we go away and tent camp and myself when I go away and car camp. So if you're interested in seeing how I pack up the car that leaves the back seat completely free, definitely subscribe for the next video. Honestly, one of the things that I love so much about car camping is how quick and easy it is. Unlike tent camping, when you have to put up the tent and then you have to pack it up when it's wet, when it's dirty, when it's dusty or sandy, it's a lot of work. With car camping, you literally just pull into your campsite, Open up the hatch, maybe set up your mattress and you're good to go. Now, one of the things I love about car camping is it's just so flexible with your setups. If something isn't working, you can literally just change it there and then on the spot. With no build, there's nothing to pull out, there's nothing to take out. Ready? You want to go outside? You want to go outside? Very snuggly and warm in here took those things off and it's very cold.
Wait, wait, I'm in his shoes. Good boy, Freddy. Good boy. When it comes to packing up, all you have to do is deflate the air mattress, put down the hatch, close the doors up, and off you go. If you're interested in seeing anything else about my car camping setup, including all of the window coverings, the lights, the fans, the reflectix, my heated electric blanket, I covered absolutely everything else in my first video showing my first version of car camping. So guys, that about wraps it up for today's organized car camping setup video. As I mentioned, this is one of a few car camping setups that I'm trialing. So if you are interested in checking out the others, be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and Freddie on our car camping adventure. Have a fabulous day. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.